Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am going to do today a double dip and I think I'm only using two colours. So almost monochromatic, I guess. And I think I'll dip one to the other on the paintings. But I'm kind of thinking that I should maybe just uh, coat a little bit of my canvases with the, I'm gonna use gold, uh, metallic gold. And this is um, just glue and the high flow. So I've just poured the glue into the high flow and I did add a bit of the gold in the in there to give it a really sparkling, luscious look. Now what I'm trying to do is keep my paints on the thicker side because I'm doing a dip and they always work better if you keep your paints on the thicker side. That might not even be thick enough, but I hope it is. So that's a dioxine purple with metallic gold but I think I'm going to just use this nice little sponge brush to do my edges first. So I'll do it in gold, see how we go. So I'm just gonna dip in my sponge brush in there. And I mean, I can always go over the edges for a second coat after it's all finished. So I'm not too worried, but I just wanna have the outside already coated in just gold and I'm just thinking that with that really lush deep dioxine purple however you say it um, this is really gonna pop and it's just a really simple way to create a really nice piece of art and if you were doing it on two really big canvases it probably would be an easier way of uh, uh, doing large canvases so I'm just gonna, I suppose I better do it on the other one. I am gonna dip one canvas to the other. Quickly, quickly go over the boring bits. Some people say they like seeing every aspect of the process because they basically, if they're copying, you know, beginners, they copy it from stage to stage. So there you go. That's what I've been told. Just It's quite therapeutic if you do it nice and slow in your own time and you're not doing it for an actual YouTube video. It's very um, therapeutic radio. So that's coated those two little canvases. So I'm gonna put one aside. There we go. And I'll just concentrate on getting my paints onto this one. So I will literally do, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I've just found that when I do these kind of chevrons, I get a, ooh, it is quite thick, a really nice um, effect on my canvas afterwards. So I am trying with much thicker paint than I would normally, but I know that it does work with thicker paint. And I'm thinking these, this purple is such a rich and luscious, so how gorgeous is it gonna look with that gold, hopefully. Maybe I should have painted the whole canvas. Oh, silly Jilly, just learn from my mistakes. We'll just see how it comes out. And if it doesn't, then well, they're only small canvases because I'm testing and you can just try again. It's not, you can scrape your paint off into a separate cup and reuse it in something else. I'm gonna just add some white to that. I said I was sticking with the two colors, but I think that the white will make it pop as well. So fingers crossed. That purple is absolutely glistening because of the uh, metallic in it. 
Rightio. That white's not very thick, so that might not be a good thing, but anyway, I will plop, plop, plop my other canvas on the top. Now, if I was doing this to sell the piece of art, I would have taped the back of my canvases. So to keep the back clean, when they're fully dry, you pour off the paint. You have nice, clean back to your canvas. Because they're just two 25 by 20 canvases, and I, it's a test, I haven't done that because I won't sell these little pieces like this. Well, not these particular ones anyway. Unless they turn out absolutely marvellous and somebody wants them, but um, I'm really doing it as an experiment for this art video. So what I might do is turn it all the way over to the second one, so as it transfers on that side too. And just give it a nice little press. Before I have used my little roller or a spatula, but on this small canvas, I'm hoping this is sufficient. If not, it'll be getting some kisses. Rightio move it along so I can do a direct oh, holy do we holy that is beautiful oh my goodness how magical would that look on some large canvases even my hexagon look at that wowzers trousers that is beautiful those colors are Super duper. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to do a few where I can little tiny balloon kisses where my paint is sitting a little bit thick. So you don't have to do these. Remember it's your art, your rules, your way. And the same with me. I'm doing it because that's what I love to do. And this is really gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Now I wish I'd done them on large canvases. That's just beautiful. Oh my goodness, I've got, I think I've got a hexagon canvas. I'd love to get this look. That is so rich and beautiful. All I'll do now is give it a little zip over with a heat wand. It's, this is a heat embossing wand. I am, I'm going to bring you down and have a look at it. It is really lovely, lovely, lovely. Wow. I must say, these are absolutely divine. And I'm kind of, I've got some texture paste there. I'm thinking, how would this come if I mixed a bit of texture paste in with the paints? Because it is so lovely. I mean, that even put in a double frame with a purple background in the frame would look very nice. So I might suss out and see if I have a frame that's like that. But isn't that lovely? I think so. It was worth it for the fun in it and the joy it gave me. And that's what I hope that this acrylic art tutorials that I put on my YouTube channel does for you. It just gives you a bit of lighthearted joy. And if you get a nice piece of art at the end of it to gift or um, sell then you know bonus bonus so my lovelies please take care and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and I will be back tomorrow so take care bye for now